already shuffled and will be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll find out what the outcome is. So Taurus, the recent past energy between you and your person that you're dealing with. Well, we got the Sun card and it's with the Four of Cups. Now, it's looking like your person with the Four of Cups here is telling me that... Um, in the recent past, this person that you're currently dealing with, they made you some type of offer. And just by looking at the picture, if you see the Four of Cups, it's the card below the word pass. She's looking at, um, she's looking down at these three cups. And it's making her actually feel kind of blue, because if you, could, if you look at the cups... They used to be white, and now they're black. Yeah, those three cups down there used to be white, like the one that's above her. Now they're black with white dots, and they're blue on the inside. So this is telling me that whatever offer, whatever kind of offer that your person made you, um, you weren't accepting it. Yeah, not, the Four of Cups can be about not accepting what someone is offering you. Whatever they offered you, it made you feel unloved. It, may, it could have made you feel devalued. And, you, and maybe it made you feel rejected in some kind of way. But they made you an offer and it made you feel like this lady in this picture. The Four of Cups, she's turning her nose up at those cups. Like, wow, is that, is that the best you could do? Or she could be thinking, like, why even try? Yeah, so anyways, you could, you could have started to feel like you're just gonna, you're just gonna go for your happy. Because the sun card is the card above the word pass. Yeah, you'd rather be sitting up under some sunflowers at the beach chasing lollipop chasing lollipops like this little baby's doing the card that's above the word pass yeah that offer made you feel some kind of way and you just weren't accepting it so you just realize it's time to go for your happy because this person is making you really maybe feeling devalued in some kind of way well, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. Okay, we got the Eight of Wands, and it's with the Queen of Swords. Now, the Eight of Wands, it tells me that there's some communication coming in. Uh, you and this person that made you an offer that you were not happy with, um, they, they want to talk to you. There's communication. Yeah, probably some back and forth communication. Um, because it's this Eight of Wands is about, it can be about talk, um, having something that they want to say. Um, they're reaching out to you, and I'm getting that it's back and forth communication. Um, your person, um, because the Queen of Wands is here, the card that's below the word present, um, they could feel like with this talk that they're, that the two of you are having, that, wow, with the Queen of Swords here, you really probably let them have it. They could be thinking, wow, you said exactly what you really thought. Queen of Swords does that. She says, what? She's thinking. They, the Queen of Swords says, exactly how they're, they're, what's on their mind, that's the Queen of Swords, and um, they feel like you were serious about your decision, and your decision um, was strict, it was very stern with this person, and it, it looks like you cut them out, because I'm looking at the sword in her hand, 
and yeah, it made this person feel like you had your defenses up, and you were fed up with them. Yeah, it looks like they feel like you you cut them out, or you were ready to cut them out. So for some of you tourists, you cut this person out. The communication came in. You didn't like what they were offering you. It made you feel some kind of crappy way. You'd rather be sitting up under, like I said, some sunflowers at the beach chasing lollipops. Just being happy by yourself with the, yeah, rather than take the offer that they've made you. So, some of you are cutting this person out, and some of you, you're just making your person feel some kind of way. You're just fed up. You got your defenses up now, and you could be detaching from this person. Now, we move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. We got the star and the magician. Okay, so, um, the magician, yeah, you're ready to take action. It could be towards someone else, um, or you could be just ready to manifest great new beginnings in your life, Taurus. And, um, because it's with the star, you, you want to release all the crap of the past. Because, you see, if you look at the star, if you look at the star card, it's the card above the word challenge. She's pouring out all of this green gook, gook, or whatever you call it, that's in these cups, She's, she, or in her pots. She's pouring them out, and she's done with any BS of the past. She's pouring it all out. Yeah. Um, you're realizing it's time to be fabulous again, and you're going for a rejuvenation. The star card can be about having hope, being hopeful, having faith, rejuvenation. It can be about um, getting inner clarity. It can be about, um, like I said, doing what she's doing, letting any grief of the past, letting that be done and over with. And like I said, you could be ready to just manifest new. Because this magician can be about new beginnings and great expectations. So for a lot of you, Taurus, I'm feeling that you've got some great expectations for uh, 2021. And you're trying to manifest um, things and people into your life that are serving you much better than um, the people that you have been dealing with or the situations. Yeah. Um, the outcome is the Ten of Wands and it's with the Nine of Swords. So it's telling me that um, for some of you, you might not find it easy, because for some of you, you got your standards up now. Yeah, you're not just accepting anything. You got your standards up, yeah, with the Four of Cups, that's what it's telling me. For that, um, recent past energy, it's, it's saying that it might be challenging, because Ten of Wands can be about... It can be about difficulties, and it's with the Nine of Swords, so it might make you feel like you just, you might feel like the Nine of Swords can be about hardship. You just feel like it's hard and difficult trying to um, manifest what you want, but hang in there. Um, a lot of you are trying to manifest maybe someone that you have... Um, a good connection with someone that you can trust. Maybe a lot of you are looking for stability. I don't know what type of crappy offer this person made you, but it made you realize it's, it's, it's time to go for the best. And you realize it's just not going to be easy. Yeah, you, f you could be finding out the pickings. The good pickings are really slim. So hang it. So. Hang